Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me. I am planning for the first week in November, the 1st through the 7th, and I'm using this adorable coffee themed kit from Coffee Break Planner. Catherine and Nick Odell are the owners of that shop, and they are amazing. And look how cute. This is just perfect. I feel like, oh, and then I got this because I had gotten an order of over $20. So, um, in case I need a little fold over note, that, I thought that was cute. Um, and then I got her scripts and then I got the like washi strips and little appointment labels and things like that. So anyway, I'm super excited about this. I feel like now that the weather is cooling down, a coffee kit just feels perfect. And I am trying to use up all of my kits. So this one, um, just shouted fall. And then I'm using this, um, this pen from Villa Beautiful and I can't remember the name of it, but I think it was like espresso or mocha or something. So Anyway, I just thought that was an appropriate pen. It looks very pretty and um, reminds me of coffee. So anyway, I am I will be using this kit this week. So probably going to start with the usual. Um, oh, also, I'm probably just going to use these leftover uh, date dots from Planner Kate. So um, just to use up what I've got. So that's that is everything sit back and relax i have a glass of wine because i'm planning actually monday evening so i have a lot going on tonight but um anyway i wanted to try to hop on here and plan and so hopefully i can get everything out um um you know soon like tonight or tomorrow or it won't happen tonight i'm hoping to get this out on tuesday or wednesday at the very very latest but that is the hope. So pour yourself a drink, sit back and relax and enjoy and play with me. Driving down the road that I grew up on once again. It's when I pass your door, the memories come back again Pictures of us flooding back just like a wave Makes me wonder what happened, what you're up to today Remember when we stole your mother's car, we drove for days Teenagers with too many feelings and rage we were higher than the ceiling, middle fingers to the sky I remember thinking if I only could stop the time Way back when, we didn't care what they said People could stare, I didn't give a damn Cause I was being next to you Way back when, we didn't care what they said People could stare, I didn't give a damn Cause all I needed was my friend Way back when Way back when Way back when Remember when my father taught us how to play guitar and we started up a band in my garage We thought our dream would take us so far But after a week or so it all just fell apart But we were higher than the ceiling Middle fingers to the sky I remember thinking if I only could stop the time Right now, way back when We didn't care what they said People could stare, I didn't give a damn Cause I was being next to you Way back when We didn't care what they said People could stare, I didn't give a damn Cause all I needed was my friend Way back when Back when we were higher than the ceiling, middle fingers to the sky. Way back when, way back when.
me Let's leave the past behind Walk with me There's something else we need to find Say you'll go Don't make me wait There's no need to hesitate Let's make footprints in sand Let's make miracles come hold my hand Let's find something new Me and you Okay, this is from Saturday May 3. This morning I worked from home for a few hours and then I ended up going into work because my printer was not working very well for me. So, and I picked up the kids from school, which is at my work. So anyway, I did do some work for, in the office and I did some work from home today. And I'll go through and check off. I've already read because I have book club tonight. I need to put that in. I have the book club chat tonight. And so I just actually finished reading. I'm filming this at about 7.30 or so. I just filming finished reading an hour ago for the 8.30 um, book club chat. So, oop, hold on, something happened to my light. Okay, sorry about that. My light went out. But anyway, I ended up doing some work from home and some work in the office because of my printer so oh what i was saying is for oh i went ahead and checked off read because i've done a lot of reading i'm filming this at about 7 30 or so i have 8 or 8 30 book club chat and i finished reading at about 6 30 while i was eating my dinner so that is how uh <laughs> how like down to the wire I was on finishing my book for book club chat tonight, but that's okay. I finished it and, um, and I got some, my November billing done at work. So that was good. So anyway, I'll go fill this in a little bit more later and, you know, snark it up with some grant band stuff, I'm sure, but I'm going to leave it pretty plain for now. And then, um, I like to update it. Oh, I need to do my to do things over here. And I forgot, I don't need to use my work scripts because I have work scripts from um, Catherine so oops now I know for next time though Blue is the sky. oh and I'm gonna leave this in here because I need to remember to make Ryan's birthday cookie cake. I need to get all the ingredients for it, but he saw um, a recipe from America's Test Kitchen that he wanted me to try, and we love their cookbooks. We've uh, I have one of their older ones. I think it's like the 15th or 15 seasons, but he everything we've tried in it has been delicious. So when he saw that they made this like cookie cake and they talked about it being for birthdays and stuff he's like i want that his birthday is on november 10th so i was thinking for like this weekend i might make him a birthday cookie so oh and we're going to dollywood on saturday that'll be fun i don't know where i want to put that in yet because i'm going to do my holidays first but anyway that i think is it on the setup though for now so let me grab the holidays and we will put those in I always start with Craft Penguin Planner, but I just wanted to say I don't have for November or December, and I don't think I'm going to buy them. I don't have Sammy Doodle Designs uh, Wacky Holidays because I went ahead, as you can see, and got her, her Wacky Doodle Year for 2000, 2022, and here it is. So this has all of the months in it. So this is what I'm going to use for next year mainly as my like holidays. So... That explains why I won't have any more for the year from Sammy Doodle, probably, because I'm just not going to buy any more since I have this ready for next year. So, anyway, with all of that said, let's start with Craft Penguin Planner. So, we have National Authors Day on the 1st. Tell me, have you ever written a book? It's, I think, National Novel Writing Month? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, yes, it's National Novel Writing Month. So, that's nice to kick it off with national authors day and then we have look for circles day on the second 
And then we have National Sandwich Day on the 3rd. Yummy. I love a good sandwich. We've got National Men Make Dinner Day. All right. On the 4th. <laughs> Funnily enough, Thursday is usually the night that we go out to eat. So, um, that's funny. But... We have American Football Day on the 5th. Very nice. Ooh, and it goes with the aesthetic, I must say. And then the 6th, we have Book Lovers Day, which I also love. Coffee and a book. You cannot go wrong. And then we have the 7th is Hug a Bear Day. Okay. That is it for Craft Penguin Planner. And then let's put in... Uh, Hunter Kate, we've got World Vegan Day on the first. That's interesting. I like having it mixed up a little bit though. We have deviled egg day on the second. Yum. I love deviled eggs. My husband does not. And I'm like, great, more for me. And then we have sandwich day on the third. Again, I love sandwiches. And then the fifth, we have men make dinner. That's interesting. She has that on the fourth. But men make dinner on football day would also be takeout. <laughs> and then we have the sixth is National Nacho Day. Yummy. That sounds like a good football food too. And we have Book Lovers Day on the seventh. That's interesting. Okay, so Hunter Kate seems to be like a day off from Craft Penguin. So we get to celebrate double, but that's okay. And then we have National, November 1st through the 2nd is Dia de los Muertos. Sorry if I butchered that. I am trying to learn Spanish, but I don't have the best um, pronunciation yet. I actually took French all through high school, and I minored in French in college. And then I started a minor in German, but never finished it because I was about a semester away, and I was just ready to be done. So, anyway... Um, I never finished German, but I never took Spanish in high school or college or any of that, but I am taking Spanish now through du Duolingo. That's the habit you see me doing every day. So it's kind of a slow learn. I'm not really trying to be become fluent immediately or anything. I'm just kind of picking things up here and there and like doing Duolingo like it's a game sort of, um, just to kind of build on my vocabulary. So I will say my, my years of French help because it's so similar, um, or it's a similar structure and setup. So, um, you know, being a romance language. So anyway, Dia, Dia de los Muertos. Sorry if that may have, hopefully that sounded better than the last one. But <laughs> anyway, um, I am so used to the French, um, pronunciation of things. So switching to Spanish is a little bit difficult. And then we have election day on the second. My friend kind of teased me because I cannot roll my R's. And she's like, why are you learning Spanish? I just said, because I want to. I think it's helpful to know. Anyway, and then we have national candy day on the fourth. It's the same as men make dinner, according to Craft Penguin Planner. And we also have Diwali. Very nice. And then we've got nachos day. We concur on the 6th. And then we have Daylight Savings Time in Stone Toto on the 7th. That's going to be a rough one. Daylight Savings is just the worst. I mean, comment below if you want to get rid of it because it's, it's the worst. Especially when you're a parent because that whole adjusting to an hour thing is not working for me. So, anyway, here it is. Um, I think everything is in that I want to put in immediately. So, I will go in and update everything. And um, I will post my finished spread, though, on my Instagram, at LEM Plans. So, go follow me over there so that you don't miss any of my finished spreads. Because I sticker the mess out of them here. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Yeah, see? I like to sticker. So, this is last week for Halloween. So, anyway, if you can't tell, and I need to fill all this in. But if you can't tell, obviously, I like to. I don't know why that's stuck to. Oh, because of the paper clip, silly. Anyway, 
I like to fill everything in and so I like to post those finished spreads over on my Instagram so go check it out so that you can see how it all looks at the end and I hope you guys have an awesome first week of November I hope you guys can start off strong with any habits that you want to do I'm actually starting off the month um I'm trying to floss daily and I saw, so I wanted to start strong today so just because the end of the year is coming up in the beginning of, the, of next year is coming up soon doesn't mean we have to put off our goals until the new year begins so there's nothing magical about january 1st other than it being the first day of a new year but you can always start where you're at so just keep that in mind and i hope you guys have an awesome week thank you so much for watching please like share subscribe and all those things thank you so much have a great week bye